Hello, uh, so I have this USB to serial cable uh, which I would like to use to uh, program an ESP8266 microcontroller. Um, there's a small issue with it, it doesn't have all the um, extra pins uh, available. It has the uh, reset pin but not the uh, DTR pin which would be really handy. So I'm going to try and attempt adding that uh, extra pin by uh, routing it with a small wire. These pins they are really tiny so uh, this video will probably be very embarrassing because it will be very hard for me to solder. Uh, but uh, let's give and it a try. Uh, Here's a closer look at the uh, board under a microscope. The pin that we want to add is right about here near the R1 uh, text. So let's see how it goes. First I want to make sure that the uh, pin is actually floating so we don't short anything. Uh, so here's here's ground. And here should be a ground pin like this. And the pin that we want to solder it's not connected to ground, it's not connected to um, voltage rail or anything so should be okay and the wire I want to use is this let's add some flux Using a small soldering iron tip, oh, which is cold, by the way. Okay, so I'm using a small tip. Let's give it a bit of solder. I think I'll uh, add a bit of solder to the pad. And try to uh, add, add the wire afterwards. Oh, so a little bit of solder there. Let's add more flux. Let's hold it down. about to burn myself. Creating a short. Hmm. 
No, that is ugly. No, it might be holding. No, that's that's no good. It's horrible. It's pretty horrible, but uh, it could work. Here is my beautiful soldering job. Well, it might not. It might uh, actually not be shorted, so uh, that's actually good. Well, there is some connection. Yeah, and it's holding. So uh, I could add some glue, maybe. Okay, so now I need to connect the other end of this wire somewhere. I probably should have done this first before doing this soldering job because now I might ruin the job. I was thinking the cable has these chamber wires connected to this um, header uh, so I thought maybe I'll just add one cable here with a pin connected at the end. Uh, I would need to cut this wire somewhere around here So, now I need to scrape off some of the coating and this is kind of difficult now because I might uh, ruin, ruin the uh, soldering job. Ah, now I cut. Ah, now it's ruined. I think I may have ruined the pin. Let's see. So here's our pin. Yeah. It looks pretty bad, but I think there's still some uh, something we can connect to. Okay, it's connected somewhere. Bend it like this. Ah. Now I just need to um, solder the pin or the uh, connector, which is here. Probably need to move this away a bit.
Okay, so there's definitely no, no connection uh, to the pin, so I just remove the uh, wire. Um, the glue is now just in the way. I'm not sure how to remove that. I might uh, try some acetone. Let's try to add a bunch of solder to the bin. Start with flux. Okay, uh, I think uh, I've got it connected now, so uh, to test it, I connected the um, adapter to an oscilloscope uh, with the uh, ground connection and the DTR connection, which we are trying to use. And here's the oscilloscope view. Let's try talking the pin with the uh, terminal program. And there we go. Seems to be working fine. Yay!